Hello and welcome to the Millennial. My name is Andre Landry Andrews. My artist name is Juan Alandra. I identify as a awesome person. How are you? Great, great. Now tell someone else that you feel that way. Tell someone else. I hope it was positive. I hope it was positive. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about three things that inspire me to further along my spiritual journey and just uplift like people. It, it's not going to be anything that is um, contradicting to anything, just negativity. <laughs> so the first topic is going to be manifestation is possible. Um... I definitely do believe that manifestation is possible. I do believe that when you think of it, you already essentially have it because you have interest in having something that you want to have for a particular reason. And once you start to think that you have it, you will start to get the tools in order to get the thing that you are trying to get or you will be in situations that will be parallel to process of you getting what you specifically need or want. There's no, there's no getting around that because if I'm saying, oh, well, I want to have this specific thing, all I have to do is manifest it and believe that manifestation is possible and then it's not up to me to know how the world is going to get whatever I'm trying to get to me. I don't know the process. I just know that I want it. <laughs> the next question is going to be, say it once. Yeah, just say it once. You know, that's, that's I mean... Me just saying that wants me to just move to the next topic, but because I just said it. I just said it once. I just said what I wanted to say once. And I think that that is exactly what everybody needs to be, you know, essentially doing. It's just like believing in themselves, right? So much so that you just don't want to say whatever you have to say another time. And if you do have to say something to somebody another time, they're just parallel or they're just not on your level. And... If you're having to repeat yourself, then people are not constantly focused on the future. They're not constantly focused on what is to come next. Or, I mean, not essentially that. It's just that you have to slow down. And being a millennial, slowing down is pointless. Because there's always the next. There's always momentum. This energy, energy does not stop. So why should I stop? Why should I stop? being so unconnected for just one second to tell you what I just said. Yes, it will definitely inspire more manifestation pertaining to what I said, but if I'm putting that energy of manifestation into something positive, then I wouldn't have to, like, repeat myself. Because then repeating yourself probably means that you don't believe in yourself. If you're saying, I'm gonna get I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, you can you can say it, but every time you say it, just remember that you said it once. You can say it more times, like whatever you want or whatever. But just remember that you said it once. So it, it's going to happen. The fact that that, if that 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 whenever you say I'm going to have this. You will be provided, that's the key, the, provided the tools to get it. And you have to notice when that is what that is. If you ignore those signs of you are getting the materials to get what you're trying to get that you said and you said it once, then you will constantly be in the same predicament. It is up to you to decide which one, which, which energy you want to progress and leave your friends, to not go out that night that you said you were going to go out. Stop drinking. Stop hating yourself. 
Start loving yourself more. Start going out in positive venues more and inhale positivity. That is what you do when you are a positive person. You're always around positivity. You're never around negativity. Negativity should never be in your life. So just notice those signs, and if you do, then if you, and if you don't, then that is your fault. But definitely just understand when you said it once, that's enough. You can move on to the next thing. All right, and the next topic is what we're going to talk about is be humble, man. Just absolutely be cool, calm, and casual. Cool, calm, and cash, you know. You have to walk around with a beautiful essence, like your jewels, like your diamonds, like your, you're just amazing. You're just, you have to believe in that because I, I was looking in the mirror doing yoga and I was like, you know, I really don't want to listen to or see myself when I'm meditating because I feel like that is unhumble of me. I know what I look like. It doesn't matter what materialistically I look like. It matters what I think of my mind to be. If I think that I am amazing, if I think that I am stunning, if I think that I am awesome, if I think that I am a king, then those things will be reflected upon my body. My body is just a vessel of reflection of my mind. So, just be humble with your mannerisms, the way that you think, the way that you present yourself in occasions, and things will be materialistically okay for you and spiritually okay for you. You don't have to worry about both realms because they're all a part of how you think. You don't worry about your physical circumstance. You let God and the power of your godly energy as well access what specifically you want to be accessed in life. It's very that simple. It's very that simple. Well, thank you so much for listening to The Millennial. And I will see you guys next time.